Hey, Jimmy, I got two minutes till my next interview. I, I just wanted to say I'm, I'm so sorry about Ava. I had no idea that she was coming there to inter- later to interview for that job. I oh, Andy's here from the Las Vegas I just, Sun. I just wanted to explain that it was Kate Love. She's truly an absolute idiot. Like, like okay. Um, thanks for the no, call. No, no, okay. Could you just give me one more second? I just uh, wanted no, to... I got to go. Sorry. Ugh, Kayla. Bad. So, Deborah, everybody is talking about this new show of yours. What uh, can you tell me about it? Oh, good, good, good. Well, I'll be telling the most untold, intimate stories from my personal life that no one has ever heard of before. So, it'll be a real change of pace, real uh, change of tone. Um... You asked me a question a couple months ago about my ex. They had just died, and I believe I had said no comment. Well, actually, you made light of my dandruff problem and told me to fuck off, so really we don't have to go there. No, I want to. I want to talk about it. A lot of people think my ex started my career. They didn't. We started our careers together. And it was a dream. And when you find someone that has the same sense of humor as you, it's like finding someone who speaks your own, you know, private little language. And you make each other better. But then their ambition got the best of them and They left me. And I remember feeling so scared. Because I thought I was all alone. That I needed someone like them. Then I found (laughs) stand-up. Thank God. You know, everyone thinks that stand-up is so scary. Because it's just you up there. When it's It's the least scary thing in the world. Because no one can let you down. Isn't that a little lonely, though? No, it's just the truth. We come into this world alone, and that's the way we live it. A lot of people think... A lot of people go their entire lives pretending that that's not the case. Not me. I don't pretend. I never have. 